good level. I mean, the top European bowlers is here and some American bowlers. So, it's very good players here. Um, first of all, I want to make the finals, of course, else I shouldn't be here. And, uh, well, in the final, we will just see what happens. Everything can happen. Uh, m'han pressionat molt dos nois que estan jugant molt i molt bé, però bueno, al final ho he aconseguit. Bueno, de moment ja és molt classificar-se, però bueno, mai se sap. Uh, s'ha d'intentar fins al final i a veure, només amb un possible. En passar un, un segon tall que ja queda, ja estaria més que satisfet. Yeah, I think so. I I just played my first squad and it went. I, I had a pretty good feel, but just a couple of bad shots and a couple of nines. So it was okay, 13:30. So it's good for the finals, but I had really big problems with the carry. I left like 15, 10 pins. So if the lines are going to be like this and figure out the carry problem, then I I should be doing good. Chris, congratulations on winning the San Marino Open last week. That was quite a feat. That was your first European title, I presume? Mm -hmm. Yes. And before that, you bowled in Munich, and now you've done the swing over to Barcelona. Just rolled a 1474, and leading the squad and leading the tournament. Yes. Um, you know, it's been, I've always wanted to come over and bowl. Uh, it's really nice to see some different places and meet some new people. I've made some good friends with the guys in the past that have come over from Sweden in England and uh, it's just a really nice time over here I'm really enjoying myself. What's your reaction to the standard of European bowling? Well there's definitely a lot of talented players uh, we've learned that over the years of PBA as they've, they've come over here and there I know they did a lot of mega bucks in the past and now a couple of guys have started to bowl PBA uh, you know it's definitely not easy to win over here uh, it's, uh, it's a challenge and you got to be on your game and it's uh, a lot of deep talent here Matthias Arok from Sweden, another notch in the 300 gun. How many uh, perfect games have you had in your life now? I think this is uh, the 12th. So 12 strikes in a row and 12 perfect games in a row. Yeah. How was it today moving from pair to pair? You, you ended up second to Chris Loschetto with 14... I had 14-14. Uh, switching pair is always uh, difficult here because the, the pins aren't that Money always the set on the rack, and uh, it was pretty hard sometimes, but uh, they did okay.
Tienes más, no, no, no son nervios, pero tienes más tensión. Entonces eh, cuesta volver a repetir el juego que estás haciendo. Considero que he tirado bien y bueno, me ha quedado el bolo 10, que un poco de influye la suerte, la técnica con la suerte, ¿no? Bien, me he sentido muy cómodo, he empezado jugando bien, tranquilo y, y bueno, he tenido mucha regularidad en todas las partidas, no he tenido ningún altibajo y... Y he hecho una partida muy buena que me ha levantado la serie y estupendo, muy bien, muy contento. Well, after the first game, I was kind of hoping that I could have stayed out of the uh, out of the squad because I only had 170. But then I made some change and I shot 289. Um, the camera jinxed me for the 300, as you said it would. So, and then I bowled okay and shot 1360. Pretty happy. Came like I left at my house at 4 a.m. this morning, so it's been a long day. So I'm happy to bowl that good the first squad. Uh, I'm feel pretty confident now. I mean, at the start I wasn't so confident, didn't feel I had a good reaction, and then made a few changes and it all came to me. So it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. Uh, oh, it's hard to say, but I mean, I'm hoping I'm gonna make at least a top eight after that performance today. So should be good. Hopefully, coming to top eight. Maybe win, you never know.